Welcome to another Method Man Productions episode. Today's lesson will be about the coordinate plane and how to plot points. Pretty easy lesson. Before I start, let's go over some key vocabulary. Let's start with the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is just the whole graph itself. There's an X and Y axis, which we'll go over in a bit. Coordinates are just the fancy word for the points. So I put a coordinate here, a flower, that's a coordinate. They also call it ordered pair, whichever one your teacher prefers. Coordinates or ordered pair, they mean the same thing. Origin is the very center of the graph. So think about it like a crosshair, a target. The very middle, where the coordinates of 0, 0 is just the origin. Easy way to remember, 0, 0 starts with an O for origin. I don't know, maybe it'll help you that way. And the coordinate plane is made up of an x-axis, which I highlighted in green right here. If you observe, everything on the right side of the x-axis is positive. And just remember that everything to the left of it is negative. Just take a look at that. That's the x-axis. It goes horizontal, so from left to right. Y-axis up and down, vertical. All the numbers above the origin on the y-axis is positive. And everything below the origin is negative. If you want, please pause the video and maybe study the vocabulary words. These are very important. And take a look at the graph so you know what's what. Before we get into plotting points, there's another important part about a coordinate plane, which are the quadrants. If you take a look at that word quadrant, quad kind of sounds like quat, quatro, quatro means four in Spanish. A little Rosetta Stone helped me there. There's four quadrants in a coordinate plane, one, two, three, and four. I colored them each differently so you can differentiate between each quadrant. One way that I teach my students is that it goes counterclockwise or it makes a C pattern. C for Chicago. First part is on the upper right, two, three, and four. For example, if I put the smiley face in this area, I'll be in quadrant one. Same thing if I put it on this yellow area, that's quadrant two. If a point is in this area, anywhere on this area, that's quadrant three. And last but not least, anything in this blue area, that's quadrant four. Here's a little tricky part about labeling quadrants. If a coordinate is on the X or Y axis, meaning if it's on this X axis or it's on this Y axis, it doesn't belong in any quadrant. Even if it's on the origin, that doesn't belong in any quadrant. You can't just say it's between two and three, so it's in quadrant two and a half. That doesn't exist, so just remember this one thing. I'm gonna say it again. If a coordinate is on the X or Y axis, it does not belong in any quadrant. Now that we understand the key vocabulary and know what a coordinate plane and its different parts look like, let's learn how to plot some points. A coordinate or an ordered pair always has two numbers. First number tells you where to go along the x-axis and the second number tells you where to go along the y-axis. I'm just going to color code them for you. Maybe it'll help you see better on how to plot these points. Start with a star right here. When you're plotting points, you start in the center. The two numbers right there that I highlighted tells you where to make your moves. So two, it's in green, the x-axis. Two means to go to the right, two. Since that's positive, going to the right. The three tells you where to go along the y-axis. Since it's positive, I'm going to move up three. One, two, three. Now that I have both movements, that's where I plot my first point. 
plotting our second point, let's start with the flower. Once again, the first number tells you where to go along the x-axis. Negative 4, this time I'm going left because it's negative. Negative 2 tells you where to go along the y-axis. So since it's negative 2, I'm going down this time. Now that I have both movements, that's where I plot my point. Last but not least, the smiley face. It's a little tricky. 0. Since I'm on the x-axis, I'm already at 0. I don't have to move anywhere. I'm already there. And the negative 5 tells you where to go along the y-axis. You got it. Since it's negative, you're moving down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is how you plot points. In a coordinate, there's always two numbers. Remember, if you take a look at the smiley face, there's a number here that tells you where it is on the x-axis, and there's a number here that tells you where it is on the y-axis. So maybe all you have to do is count where is this smiley face on the x-axis. It's 1, 2, 3. That's the first number that goes there. And ask yourself, where is this along the y-axis? 1, 2, 3. And that is it. Looking at this target looking point right here, where is it along the x-axis? Negative 4. It's then the first number that you put there. And where is it on the y-axis? It's actually at 0. It didn't move up or down. That's a 0. Last point is right here. Where is it on the x-axis? It's at 2. It's the first number that goes there. Now ask yourself, where is it on the y-axis? It's at negative 3. This is the second number that goes there. For now, try out three questions below. I want you to label each coordinate. So there's three. And also state which quadrant each point belongs in. Just pause the video and when you are done, your answer just will appear right in front of you. Here are the answers. First part, the smiley face is negative 4, 1. Start in the center, negative 4, up 1. It's in quadrant 2. Second point is right here by the target. It's at 2, 0. And it was a tricky one. There's no quadrant because it's in the middle of quadrant 1 and 4. If it's on the x-axis, it doesn't belong in any quadrant. And the last one is negative 3, negative 3. That is in quadrant 3. Hopefully this video was of use to you. And for your support, please subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.